This video is to help you have a better understanding of your BMW E39 engine. The engine control module, ECM or DME, green arrow, is mounted in the electronics box, E-box, at the right rear of the engine compartment, underneath the interior ventilation filter housing. In the MS42 and MS43 cars, the ECM is flash programmable to boost certain performance parameters, such as allowing for higher top RPM or increased low end torque. The transmission control module is mounted next to the DME yellow arrow. The fuel supply, fuel injection, and an electronically operated fuel pump are all located inside the fuel tank. They supply high pressure fuel, approximately 3.5 bar or 50 pounds per square inch, to the fuel rail in the engine. The fuel rail in turn distributes fuel to the electronically actuated fuel injectors. The ECM measures the output of the injectors using a pulse width signal. It varies the pulse width based on input signals. Inputs to the ECM include air intake volume using a mass airflow sensor signal, ambient and coolant temperature signals, accelerator pedal signal, crankshaft and camshaft position signals, and knock sensor signals. The M52TU and M54 intake manifold is known as a resonance turbulence intake system. The molded plastic intake manifold consists of two sets of three intake runners. Resonance valves are used to vary the length of the runners in order to enhance low end torque at low engine speeds or allow high volume air flow at medium or high engine speeds. The intake manifold is also equipped with a 5.5 millimeter turbulence port for each cylinders. These ports channel idle and low speed air from the idle speed control regulator to one intake valve in each cylinder. There are two intake valves per cylinder. Air rushing through one valve causes air swirl and more efficient fuel atomization in the cylinder. The eight cylinder M62 and M62 TU models utilize a single intake manifold, green arrows, with individual runners and fuel injectors for each cylinder. The crankcase breather valve, yellow arrow, is integrated to the rear of the manifold. You can remove the intake manifold with most components attached, and to do that you can follow the link provided at the end of this video. It also has variable camshaft timing, Vanos. E39 cars with six cylinder engines, or the M62 TU V8s, are equipped with ECM controlled variable camshaft timing, VANOS. The system uses engine oil pressure to adjust camshaft timing, offering the following advantages increased power, higher low end and medium speed torque, improve idle and fuel efficiency. Elimination of the external EGR plumbing, quicker warm up, and lower emissions. Models with the M52 six cylinder engine are equipped with a single Vanos. This system varies intake valve timing only. Models with the M52 TU, M54, and M62 TU engines are equipped with double Vanos. This system operates independently on both intake and exhaust valve timing. Throttle control, idle control, six cylinder models with the DME MS411 are equipped with a conventional throttle assembly with an accelerator cable. The MS42 vehicles, an accelerator cable connects the gas pedal to an electronic throttle valve. The MS-43 vehicles, the throttle cable is eliminated and throttle actuation is completely electronic, drive-by-wire. In vehicles equipped with V8 engines, the M62 engine throttle is operated by a conventional throttle cable. In the M62 TU engine, 
throttle actuation is completely electronic drive-by-wire. In six-cylinder models and the M62 engine, the idle speed control valve is controlled by the ECM to bypass varying amounts of air around the closed throttle valve. A separate idle speed control valve is eliminated in the M62 TU engine. Idle speed is not adjustable. Ignition and knock control, the ignition system uses one ignition coil per cylinder. Each coil is mounted above the spark plug. Multiple sparks per ignition cycle are used to reduce emissions and extend spark plug life. Spark timing is controlled by the ECM using an ignition spark map. Spark timing is not adjustable. However, to prevent engine damage in case of adverse conditions or poor fuel quality knock detonation, sensors are mounted on the engine crankcase. These are microphones tuned to the frequency of the engine knock and communicate such knock to the ECM. The ECM can respond to these signals by changing, usually retarding, the ignition timing at one or more cylinders. Six cylinder engine shown in the photo. The exhaust manifolds and oxygen sensors. Oxygen sensors are used by the ECM to control fuel delivery. The M52 and M62 engine, 1999 and 98, are equipped with two exhaust manifolds leading to dual middle exhaust pipes and dual catalytic converters. Two oxygen sensors are ahead and two are behind the catalysts. In the M52 TU and the M54, 1999 to 2002, the three front cylinders and three rear cylinders are each equipped with a separate exhaust manifold, each with an integrated catalytic converter. This allows the converters to heat up in a very short time after a cold start. The manifolds are also equipped with four oxygen sensors, one before each catalyst and one after. In the M62 TU engine, the exhaust manifold on each bank of the cylinder has a built-in pre-catalyst with an oxygen sensor ahead of it. There is a second catalyst further back on each exhaust pipe and an oxygen sensor on each pipe behind that. Reflashing the engine control module ECM, we offer a well-tested system for reflashing, reprogramming the ECM depending on your year and model. The Shark Injector, designed for 97 to 03 models, reflashes the ECM to improve low-end torque. The car won't hesitate or lag, making it easier to drive. And with extra torque, you can drive in a higher gear and not have to downshift as often, thus improving fuel mileage. The Shark Injector may be upgraded via USB port depending on your performance needs. 16 pin model shown, 20 pin model also available. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.